Hello and welcome. This is another Keter Guidance Reading. I'm Yashar. Come on in, soul friends and soul family. Let's see what I've got for you today. Um, today, we are taking a look at our Aquarius. Yes, Aquarians, it's all about you today. Um, let's see here. Yes, this is Aquarius season and Aquarians are wanting to know what this year holds for them, right? So first off, I'm going to start with Aquarians lesson from last year. The lesson that they are supposed to hold close to them, my Aquarians, as they traverse 2021. Okay, Aquarians. The message from 2020 that you're supposed to hold close to you as you traverse 2021 is smile today and pass it along. So we're looking at you being, pardon me, I dropped my card, <laughs> you being a sense of inspiration for others. So you're aspiring, you're inspiring others this year. Um, you, as you uh, walk through your life and you live in the lessons of everything that culminated for you last year, you've become a light for others, almost like a spiritual guide, you know? And so that's what you've got going on for you. What you need to carry with you throughout 2021, Aquarians, is smile today and pass it along. So you're leading people to joy. I like that. I love that. Joy is definitely something that all people should get a chance to feel and live in. And yes, our personal choices sometimes lead us away from joy. Mm, but when we are centered and we are walking in our truth, speaking our truth, not denying ourselves our personal truth, we can find joy and we can live in joy. All right, you guys want to make it clap one more time. In the meantime, it would be awesome if you would remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you can know when your readings are popping up so you can get them when they're hot. Oh, ooh. and our messages for Aquarius are hot right now as well. Let's see what we got. Mm, the sun. Even in reverse, never a bad card. The sun card. So we've got the sun. And here we've got the knight of, of discs. But, you know, in this deck, this the knight of discs is more your um, king of pentacles, right? So we've got the sun card and the knight of discs. Oh, looking off into the future. You, you have expectations for a bright and sunny day. You really do for, for peace and love and harmony and joy and all those beautiful things to come into your life. Been a little bit of a delay, however, but you know that it's coming. You're looking expectantly forward towards it. You know that it's coming. Um, a feeling of warmth and abundance just over the horizon. You know that if you march forward, you will, um, you're, you're protected. And it's almost like a beacon. You know what I mean? It's a beacon. I feel like, um, gosh, I feel like your personal sunshine is, is, is like through bringing sunshine for uh, others. It's not about focusing on your own self this year. It's about, um, it's more about focusing on others. And I'll say more than this year. I'll say at this point in time. OK, at this point in time, during this present cycle, it's more about you finding your joy by being a light to others, by being a beacon of hope. And it's like um, by these, by by assisting with manifesting these things for others, you're growing, you're growing, your heart energy is growing, your spirit energy is growing, your man, you're wow kind of a beautiful thing right now. 
Yes, yes, I love this. This energy is great. You're, you're definitely an inspiration. I'm getting strong inspirational energy. Like, okay. And what have we got here? Uh, oh, Prince of Discs. Prince of Discs is more a page energy here in this deck. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's a night energy, night energy in this deck. So with the Prince of Discs, there's movement. There's movement coming in. Um, there's new growth, new abundance, new finances coming in. Um, I'm seeing the beginnings of new ventures that um, we're feeling strong about. Um, where we're charging forward like a bull in a china shop, you know, um, ready to, you've got that, that, that streamlined, focused energy, kind of knowing where you want to go and heading in that direction. Um, and there was a waiting period. There was a waiting period where you were kind of stuck in your head and you were kind of unsure, um, trying to, trying to get clear on where to go, what to do. But I don't think that that is an issue here. It's not about where to go and what to do. It's about getting started. It's like you get started, you take those first steps and everything that you need to know is gonna come into you. It's gonna all make sense. Um, the messages are gonna come into you and you're gonna know what to do. You're gonna know what first steps to take. Just get started. Just center yourself. Get that inspirational. Like, um, let's say some things that I feel like, you know, what I'm getting coming in is it's things from the past that you probably started, didn't quite, maybe they didn't get off the ground. Maybe you didn't put your focus on them. Maybe other things distracted you. Maybe you had a big upset that really just shook your foundation and turned everything upside down and you had to stop. Um, maybe you were just focused on too many others or you had too many things, too many ideas, too many choices and directions to go in. So I feel like that's coming to an end now and you're taking your first steps towards what, like a, a sure direction where you know you need to go. It's like, I think that last year you got some signs, some heavy signs, like something major happened in your life that flipped everything upside down and, and, it's like the, tr I guess, whatever you were going after, whatever you thought was your personal truth, it, it didn't end up being that. Um, maybe you were going after things that didn't fulfill you, things that didn't cover you, things that um, others value, but maybe you were trying to fulfill yourself with things that you didn't really value, but everybody looked at you and was like, oh man, you're together, you got everything going on. And you're like, oh, I must be doing the right thing because I mean, I'm doing what's getting me lauded by everybody else, or maybe I'm getting all the things that everybody else values, but was it what you valued? You know what I mean? You know, were you being true to your own intuitive spirit that knows, or were you squishing it down and kind of like trying to go about trying to satisfy yourself in other ways instead of the ways that were true to you but that's over this year you know what it is this year you're taking the right steps the necessary steps all right so where is this gonna lead guys where is this gonna lead why does everything keep falling on the floor <laughs> let's see here now I think that you're getting rid of anything that does not bring you peace. Anything that is too much, anything, it's like, you know what? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a new place. I'm in a new place. No, 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 we're not doing baby things anymore. When it comes to my peace, when it comes to my personal abundance, you know, abundance is all things, including peace. When it comes to the abundance of my peace, my harmony, my love, no more, no more, no. Um, I'm not accepting anything less than what I need to feel at peace. I'm, I'm to feel loved, to feel abundant. Um, I'm not accepting anything anymore that, oh, let's see. 
Yeah, it's, it's yes, yeah, no no celebration, no celebration for things that are beneath my level of peace and harmony. No, I'm not going to pretend to be satisfied anymore. I'm not going to act like I'm happy with that anymore. It has to be the real thing. It has to be the real thing. We're talking real true love and abundance, real true support, real true harmony. Ooh, taking a leap of faith. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You're ready. You are ready to go on your journey. You're ready to take a leap of faith. Look at you. You're realizing that you are the magician. You've realized that you can manifest. Like, you're looking back over everything and you're like, you know what? I have been manifesting. I have been conquering. I have been bringing all these things into being. And I feel that now you're in a place where you want to do this for everyone. You want to show everyone the light that you have seen. That's a beautiful place to be in. Yes. It's, oh gosh, you've leveled up so much. And look at that. ultimate happiness you are the abundant nurturing maternal spirit that is pouring out your abundance on others um, and and because of all of this that you're pouring out your abundance of inspiration your abundance of wealth of of love harmony just you're a light you're a beacon a beacon of hope even to others you have a story to tell. You've got a big story. And as you share this story with others and, and, and you put your passion into leading others to the light that you have seen. Uh, and I feel like your light is blinding right now. It's almost blinding. Like when people talk to you, they're getting a whole different version of you. Oh. Like, even me just talking about this new you, like, I'm getting chills. I'm getting goosebumps on my face even, okay? It's like, even I am receiving your new inspirational, beautiful energy right now. Like, I can feel it pouring through, pouring down even on me at this very moment. This is a beautiful place you're in right now, Aquarius. Like, wear this. Wear this because I feel that you've earned this. All right? You went through something. You went through something. And it turned it 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 was a revelation. You had a, a profound revelation. And man, I, I want to know more. You know, I'm gonna do another Aquarius reading very soon. You guys, if you haven't already, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell. Leave me comments down below so I can know more about what you want to see, what you want to hear, what you want me to address and talk about. And most importantly, oh, you guys get in my DMs and y'all fuss me out for not dropping more videos, but I don't even know that it matters to you because you're not commenting down below, liking, sharing, and, sus and, and subscribing to let me know um, um, what you want and that you appreciate it and that you really needed it or anything like that. So let me know what's going on with you. But yeah, Aquarius, uh, it was truly my pleasure to do your reading this time. This has been another Catch Your Guidance reading. I'm Yashar. Peace and love to you all. I'm out.